to make Doctor Who great again with Goldie and Dobby because we've highlighted the problem over the course of many shows and many weeks on Will of the Fans is Who TF Live. And uh, we've, we're have we finding the solution through all of our great interactions. And together we can be the change that we want to see. I know for a fact that Goldie has worked on some uh, material to make Doctor Who great again. Of course, uh, for those who are unaware, my uh, AIDS two-parter would be perfect against uh, Doctor Who 2, Rise of the Super AIDS and the Age of AIDS. And I'm sure Dobby can provide a few perspectives oh, and to breathe new life into a dying franchise. So, Goldie, here's a question. How do we make Doctor Who great again? Well, if we're to look at Doctor Who as the, or just the mainstream show, what's on at the moment, um, I don't think that season two and the seasons after that, if there is any, are going to get any better in terms of quality. I think Russell is very set in stone with what he wants to do. And I think um, season one and season two were sort of made back to back. So they haven't really had time to accept the criticisms from season one and go, right, let's adapt season two. It's literally been a, you know, a, a one production line. It's right. He wrote season one, he wrote season two and they were finished off making season two as season one aired so yeah there wouldn't have been any time to address those concerns unless russell has reflected on his own work and said right there's some things we need to improve on but i doubt he has done that because it's russell we you know if you don't like his ideas then grow this and that and you can have off um so i think in terms of the mainstream show if it is to have any hope in surviving well huh, if it has any hope of getting better then what it needs to do is not survive and it's to go under for about years and then it needs to be brought back with a totally new team because as um triple d as you call him um he has highlighted that you know and he came up with the term for the people that have been in charge of doctors 2005 the fitzroy crowd and I, I think rev may be aware of this to some degree so um russell t davies mark gator stephen moffat and chris chibnall who have had their hands all over new here mm-hmm used to write the, the Doc 2 expanded universe material, the novels and all that in the 90s and the early 2000s. They then got their hands on the actual show and since they've been passing it around from person to person. It's gone from Russell to Stephen to or back to Russell and they're one little, you know, group, one little cult, if you like. So um, that's why Doc 2 has kind of been in the same place for so many years now because they just, they just keep it with within house what they need to do is um out those people as i say put the show under for 10 or so years uh, come back with a totally new team with an entirely new vision that's so devoid of everything we've seen even from classic who and then bring in new audiences and engage the older ones because it's not going to be bastardizing what they've come to love um yeah. but also with the um with the fact Acts that technology has become more available and people can do more things themselves. I think what we need to start seeing because I do occasionally like watching fan films and reading people's like uh, fan made comics and books. People need to actually start doing stuff for themselves. Now I know it's hard because Doctor Who is a protected property, so you won't be able to monetize it. But hopefully, those fans that whose whose love extends beyond all that will find the desire to actually make content, whether that is a book or an audio book or a car, even though they won't be able to get any profits from it. I just we'll do that anyway because they want good stories to be out there. I just thought of a great idea. Dr. Jew and his TARDIS as a bank. Jesus. <laughs> he goes back in time to stop well, World folks, War Well, folks, I can tell you that... He stops World War Two, and then he goes back into the 21st century and finds no Jews. There we go. I mean, there is a way yeah. to fix it. Um, and I think one of the ways which Chibnall, it's actually you can thank Chibnall for giving the only possible way out. You have right now three doctors at play. You have Doctor 14, however you feel about 
the doctor who's now gay, but okay. Then you have Shuti in the face, Gatwa, who's just a waste of space. But we have one more doctor that's been left unaccounted for. That's Joe Martin. And Joe Martin has a TARDIS. And Chibnall never finished the story, which and means... And Shutex on it. Yeah. Exactly. So here's how we're looking at it. Um, probably not, because... Because um, if we're to believe uh, Empire of Death and Sutek attached onto the TARDIS uh, during Pyramids of Mars, and I believe she, well, I, I believe she's been placed between Troughton and Pertwee, and You're when correct. that was presented to Chibnall, we didn't deny it. So even though he didn't confirm it, it's been you know, set up that way. Because you're right, Rev, they didn't explain anything in Flux. There was even a point where Jodie Whittaker's doctor gets a watch containing all of her memories prior to the memory wipe, part of this secret division, and she literally just throws it into, like, the engine of the TARDIS and it's never brought up again. So, like, one way to fix it would be if you go back to... The very first episode where, uh, no, if you were to go back to Joe Martin's first episode, which also she appeared in, it wasn't in Flux, it was the one before Flux where Jodie's fine, where she destroys the, what, what do you call it? Fugitive so, of the Jadoon. Yeah, they need to go back to that piece, rewrite, instead of having a timeless child, rewrite the fact that there were three doctors, one and three. I, three doctors, each with 12 regenerations, but one of the doctors is a fugitive, which is technically what happened to the war doctor, because the war doctor is on the run. Because how they explain the story was when Gallifrey first falls, the doctor takes a TARDIS and he runs. But that doesn't mean that the doctor didn't regenerate, but the war doctor is still out there. Meanwhile, we're stuck with our version of the doctor. So they need to really, if they can really fix this, we would need to have the Schalke doctor and we would need to take Doctor Who would have to restart with the Schalke doctor starting it because that's the story of the war doctor, why he lets an entire civilization die and why he gets labeled the fugitive, which explains why the Jadoon are chasing, um, why the, why the Jadoon, didn't know which doctor was the real fugitive. And so they got Jody instead of Joe Martin. So that's how they need to fix it, is they actually need to bring back this, or at least discuss in, I don't know, like a big special about everything that happened with the Schalke doctor and then move forward from there. Because that whole thing with the doctor wiping out an entire race was only just mentioned in like a podcast, but it was never fully brought up again. And that's how... That's how they could fix it. Well, I'll tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. I know how to fix Doctor Who. Use the Spartacus method. I am the Doctor. Go on, Dobby. Say you are the Doctor. Hello. I'm the Doctor. And Golden Age Geek is the Doctor, and all of you are the Doctor. The only way to save Doctor Who is that we all identify as the Doctor. And then we can take over the show through our sheer victimhood power. And uh, But wouldn't we have to say our pronouns if we start identifying those things? I identify as a time lord from Ga a time king from Ganaby. That's a fucking Voyage of the Damned reference for all you fine folks and, and fellow creators. The closest we ever got to a Doctor Who film in new who because that was a damn long episode i mean long enough that it had about 15 more minutes it would have been a 90 91 minute film that's the one with kylie minogue in it just to give mm -hmm. you all some some context but i will say ladies and gentlemen what doctor who needs right now is just like what britain needed when harold saxon became prime minister doctor who is sick doctor who is ill what doctor who really needs is the doctor not the timeless child not doctor who too throwing his fucking spear at every situation we need the doctor and that is why i think personally they could have built a storyline where doctor who too 
or the previous one, David Tennant, who looks like the life has been sucked out of him, with a, a past companion who who has experienced the Doctor before and is like, yeah, something's not right with this guy. And then the companion turns on the Doctor. Uh, and that and the companion is the big bad. Ruby Sunday or fucking Donna Noble. She She's the big bad. And why is she the big bad? Because you, Doctor, betrayed her. Because you're not the Doctor. You're the timeless child, remember? And then they battle, and then the Doctor kills the companion. Uh, but just before that, the companion shoots the Doctor, and he regenerates and becomes the fucking Doctor again. How about that? Because uh, have we ever seen a companion turn on the Doctor and become yeah. a full-blown villain on kind of. television? But it wasn't a villain, but that was the episode where they're trapped in that weird, um, like, hospital where everybody, with those robots. Try to remember the name of the episode. Oh, it will come back to me one day. But it's that one where the Doctor leaves. Oh, it was, oh who was it? It wasn't Clara. It was Bill. I think it was during Matt Smith's run. But he leaves her in, uh, in this oh, hospital. Oh, Amy. Because... Amy Pond. Yeah. He lives yeah, that here in was his a, hospital. That that's... was a resort, Darby. That wasn't a hospital. That was a resort. But yeah, that's the only time I can remember. And the time when uh, she goes all ballistic when, um, what's his name, dies. And she takes all the keys, which is that dream thing that she was in. Mm, that was Clara. Just goes yeah. to show the chemotherapy is messing up oh, Darby's shit. brain. But uh, in all seriousness, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Doctor Who is in dire straits. We have all given yeah. ideas in order to salvage this show. Unfortunately, none of them will be taken. Disney Who will die in 2025. And fingers crossed, the cultural desert will ensure that these fuckers will never destroy Doctor Who at its core. Because the franchise will collapse. So there you go. Ryan with his charm. Whovians with their flair. Reality based so sharp. All our viewers here. Reality based Whovians. Together we'll be your favorite. Feel the vibe.